<clears throat> Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And you may have heard that they found, they think they found life on Venus. The issue is a molecule known as phosphine. Uh, one uh, phosphorus, three uh, hydrogens. And of course, as you might expect, this is nothing new. NASA is uh, sending the teams of debunkers. They're parachuting in the teams of the debunkers to quash the story. They'll never admit that there is such a thing as life on another planet. They'll never admit it unless somebody drags them by the nose and shows them and then shows it to the public, shows it to the Congress or the UN or somebody, they're never going to admit it. Every time, there's nothing new. Last week, a team of researchers told the world they had detected a molecule in the upper cloud layers of Venus, typically only created by living creatures here on Earth. The blockbuster announcement of finding phosphine in the clouds of Venus made a major splash in the news. But pushback began appearing even as details on the results were coming to light. This is, again, this is NASA parachuting in the teams of debunkers to quash the story. In the days since, scientists have had some time to articulate their criticisms, which fall into two main camps. On one side, there are those who question the detection itself, whether the team has definitely seen what they claim to have seen. And the second attack scrutinizes the interpretation and whether or not life is a good conclusion to arrive at. Unbelievable. Even those who are skeptical believe the findings to be intriguing. Uh, yeah, they do, because they want to see this story stopped. Obviously, it's a an extremely cool result and potentially has profound implications. John Carpenter, an observatory scientist at Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, Alma and Chile, told Live Science. The grand claims demand grand evidence. At the center of the debate is a molecule phosphine, or pH3, which is made from one phosphorus atom bonded to three hydrogen atoms. Phosphine is a nasty and poisonous gas for many creatures, including humans, and is produced by bacteria living in rotting sewage and swamps where oxygen is lacking, as well as in the intestines of some animals. Uh, what they're talking about is uh, anaerobic bacteria. When I'm mentioning swamps. Using James Well Maxwell Clerk Telescope in Hawaii and Alma, astronomers looked for telltale signs on Venus's light would indicate presence of different chemicals, notice one associated with phosphine. The result is particularly perplexing because Venus's atmosphere is full of CO2 and other oxygen-containing molecules, which should rip apart the phosphine in no time. To have it present in any amount is bewildering. And here's where NASA comes in. But did the research team really see phosphine? The observations contain a good amount of noise, which might simply be mimicking a phosphine signal, suggested Carpenter. Michael Wave, physical scientist at NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies in New York City, agreed. More lines are needed to verify that this is, that is this particular molecule. Way told Life Science in an email, at this point it's not 100% clear exactly what they've measured. 
in particular way pointed out that there is a signature associated with sulfur dioxide, SO2, at nearly the same frequency of light. SO2 is the third most abundant gas in Venus's atmosphere, so its presence might account for phosphine finding. And it goes on and on. Like I said, NASA has parachuted in teams of debunkers to quash this story. I don't know why they do this. Other than they're liberals, and liberals don't want to hear this any more than the religious community does. There's a dirty little secret. The religious community doesn't want to hear, excluding maybe Muslims. Muslims are a little more open-minded on this. But Christians don't want to hear there's life anywhere else. And they, like NASA, will fight tooth and nail to keep any story like this uh, quashed. Most of them will, not all. But, sufficient say, we found what looks like life there, and... Again, we have the usual behavior from NASA quashing the story. That's all for today. Uh, I am testing a new microphone. I hope this came out all right and will review it to an extent and make sure it did. This one appears to be much more sensitive than what I was using, which was uh, head headphones with uh, a microphone attached, and they broke physically. And see you at some point. I'm working on a script for a new Star Trek. Other than that, have a nice day. I'm Artifacts of Mars.